Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already and you're just the first time being here, you've been here before and you just like, I don't know, me talking about radiology stuff, go ahead and hit the subscription button, man, help my channel out that way I can give me motivation, man, to, you know, continue to make videos. Anyway, man, today I wanna to talk about radiation therapy. Somebody asked me, hey man, do you ever consider it? Or would you recommend it? And honestly, man, for me, that I, that's something I couldn't do. You know, it's just for a couple of things, you know, for me personally, only because since I'm already RT, even though I'm RT, I'm RT already, you will still have to go to school for two more years. And <laughs> I don't want to go to school for two more years, especially just to learn another modality. So that's one, at least for me, that's one. But if you do plan on going to um, radiation therapy school, it is two year program. Excuse the noise in the back, I apologize, I'm at work. But um, so it is two years. And the other thing that's kind of hard about it is that it is radiation therapy which means that you work with cancer patients that's it no other patients you're going to work with no regular x-rays no nothing it's all cancer patients and the hard thing about that man is that they have a good schedule you'll basically have like i think probably monday through friday eight to five outpatients you know and um so it's a really good schedule and they get paid really well you know so they get paid I'm guessing maybe like 10 more dollars than a regular tech because of all the stress to get put put up with. And it's not really stress about working, it's stress about mental, you know, like your mental stress with the patients that you deal with on a daily basis. Um, some patients you have amazing turnaround, turnouts and you know, they beat cancer and you know, you see them but only your follow-ups, you know, okay, you know, we got one man, we made it, you know, and, and then, you know, you see other patients that it didn't work for them you know me personally being a, a, a cancer patient myself um i didn't have to go through radiation but i went through chemo and you know for me to see people beside me doing the same thing and knowing that you know probably two or two or three of those of those you know human beings weren't going to make it was scary you know it was scary and it was um it was like a like a sad workplace to be in you know and i guess you kind of build tough skin and you kind of build um i mean that's only where you can you can really say you kind of build tough skin when you work in places like that because you know that you know that patient is going to go into another family and they're going to be fine in a couple of months or this patient's not going to make it and you already know from the beginning that's not going to make it they're not going to make it but yet you had to build that skin you know what i mean so that way, that's why for me, man, anything that has to do with cancer patients or anything for radiation like that, you know, I, I couldn't do personally. But if you have a personal experience that you want to help, you know, cancer patients that doesn't bother you and um, you kind of learn and you kind of know how to um, juggle your feelings emotionally and be productive at work, uh, then by all means, go for it. Um, like I said, it's one of those the um, the thing i would say about radiation therapy though that the jobs are limited because of the fact that you can only work in certain areas so you can go on like with like the where most places go they go i don't get i don't get sponsored by anybody but if you go to indeed.com you type in you know radiation therapist and you type in what state you want to work in it will tell you man how many positions are actually available and you can type in us how many people how many positions are available worldwide not worldwide but nationwide so that kind of gives you an idea of like, okay, if I go to school for two years, am I gonna get a job? Am I gonna get a position? Because to be honest, man, once people go for that and they see the money they make, the doctors they work for are usually amazing and treats them really well. People that get positions like that, they, they hardly ever leave, you know what I mean? Because they don't wanna go to the, to the hospital setting, hustle, hustle and bustle all day, trauma patients, OR, things like that. You know, a lot of people don't want to go to urgent cares because they don't have to deal with, you know, giving medication, doing vital signs, you know, things of that nature. So they go for that for a purpose. And once they get that position, they stay, you know, so that's things that we're to look forward to. But anyway, guys, like I hope this helped you guys. Hope it helped somebody um, that's looking into the radiation therapy program. And um, like I said, it's not for me, but I'm but I'm different than everybody else. And you know, all of you guys have a different purpose, and, you know, a different set of purpose for different things. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. As always, guys, to the next video.